Hi, I'm Beth Augustine, owner of Flower Child Bakery here in downtown Grand Ledge. Um, I got my start uh, quite a while ago. I um, did the farmer's market in downtown Grand Ledge for six years and then um, grew my business and decided to open a brick and mortar shop um, in October of 2016. And we have been open for four years. And at the bakery, we do everything from fr fresh from scratch daily. Um, and we are very popular for our croissants that are hand rolled and hand laminated and filled with all sorts of different fillings and fruit fillings and chocolates. And then we also have our bagels, which have been voted the Lansing area's best bagels um, for in 2019 and 2020. And um, those are all uh, made by hand, um, hand cut, hand rolled, boiled, and baked off um, fresh daily by me. And then we also have an assortment of cookies. We do um, different holiday themes. We also do custom orders. We um, try to have a lot of fun in the bakery and have special days that we celebrate um, based on popular themes that are occurring. And then we also have a variety of lunch and breakfast items. You can get hot lunch, hot um, quiche, soups, um, breakfast, and um, lunch sandwiches um, fresh daily. We have a specialty sandwich and specialty quiche flavor that changes daily as well. We do offer dine-in seating, but not right now. And we have coffee from Madcap. Um, we try to keep everything as local as possible. And we also work with local um, farm, um, Hillcrest Farm located in Eaton Rapids. They provide all of our um, romaine and seasonal things that we can get, such as specialty lettuces, microgreens, um, tomatoes, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and then the bakery also has um, a lot of community involvement. Um, and I have participated in multiple um, events that raise money for um, different things that the town is asking for to contribute to, uh, multiple fundraisers. We've hosted our own fundraisers to help the um, GLEEP and to also help the um, Lansing Area Food Bank. And wherever there's a need, uh, Flower Child Bakery, when asked, always tries to help out. And we're pretty proud of that. I would like to thank the Grand Ledge community and beyond for all your support through all the years, um, for coming out to see me at the farmer's market for all those years, and for supporting me when we opened our store, and for always being there, even in these hard times. We thank you very much.